everyone. I guess you are wondering about those tones and what do they mean? So they were actually expressing my name, which is Ikram, using one of the earliest radio communication modes. It's called the Morse code, which is based on using the electromagnetic waves. So what are the electromagnetic waves? They are actually all over us, everywhere and anytime, but most of them are invisible and they propagate through space with the speed of light carrying electromagnetic radiant energy. Those waves are synchronized oscillations of the electric and the magnetic field that are perpendicular to each other as well as to the direction of energy and wave propagation. So they are always in phase at a 90 degree of each other and they have different frequencies, wavelength and uses. As we see in the electromagnetic spectrum, they are put in order from the non-ionizing to the ionizing and from low frequency with long wavelength to a high frequency with short wavelength. So what does ionizing mean? It means that it has the ability to break a bond between molecules. So let's see what are the different uses of electromagnetic waves. So let's begin with gamma rays that have a high frequency and short wavelength. We can use it to detect and treat cancer. X-rays that can show you if you have a broken bone. In microwaves and radio waves, they can use it to the cellular phone, microwave ovens, radio communication and space communication. So let's talk a little bit about space communication. Space communication does allow people on Earth to communicate with satellite and other spacecraft missions, as well as providing radio and radar astronomy observation for exploring the universe and the solar system. But how? With the help of the DSM, the Deep Space Network, which is an international network of huge antennas located in three different places around the globe, US, Spain and Australia, provide a general reception and transmission without missing anything. And the NASA consider the DSN as their eyes and their ears. So thanks to Hertz, who first discovered the radio waves, he discovered one of the most useful and amazing things ever that really helped us. And we really don't know what the future hides for us. Maybe we will communicate with other intelligent beings in the outer space. Who knows? Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video.